Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Tarot and Oracle for the Soul. I just did a unboxing of the Halloween Forever and I had a comment. Someone asked me if the cards glowed in the dark and I said I'd take a picture. Well, the cards do not glow in the dark and they're slightly blacklight reactive. I'll post a picture here here, 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 somewhere. I'll post a picture and show you guys. Now, my nails, I got these at, these are press-on nails from Walgreens. They're the Impress and they glow in the dark. And then the pumpkins are black light reactive. I couldn't get a cool picture of the glow in the dark. It just wouldn't capture on my phone, but the pumpkins are black light reflective as well. And uh, you can see that in the picture I posted. So my fingernails glow in the dark and are black light reflective, but the cards, uh, they're not from the Halloween Forever. So I posted a picture in the community comments section. I couldn't post the picture under comments under the question. It just wouldn't let me. If anyone knows how to do that, let me know, please, in the comments. I've had this Halloween Oracle by Stacey DeMarco for a while. I absolutely love this Oracle. This is just a great Oracle deck. Um, I love the cards. I love the book. I love everything about it. Can you see the embroidery? Like it's, you've got matte and then shiny bats and brooms and pumpkins and witch hats and ghosts like it looks kind of like almost like embossed I guess so this is lifting the veil between worlds every night copyright 2014 Stacey DeMarco this is Blue Angel Publishing we have trick or treat truth or dare a little about the scariest night of the year how to use this deck and dedicating your cards and then we have 72 cards and then we have about the author how to use this deck the single card divination the halloween three card draw the jack-o-lantern divination dedicating your cards and then the cards So unlike the Halloween Forever, you don't have a colored picture. You just have a picture of the card though still. And then you have um, keywords, like a little kind of poem. And then a little bit about the card. And it's in alphabetical order. And then if you want, you can pause and you can read about Stacey DeMarco. And then there's other decks from Blue Angel Publishing. I do not have these cards in any kind of order because I use them. I like the backs, they match the book. And actually, it's in the box, too, a little bit. You can see. There's the back. So these are big oracle size cards. Let's see. They're shiny, and they're not as thick as the Halloween Forever. I like this cardstock. It makes it a lot easier to shuffle. They're just, these cards are smooth like butter. <laughs> All right, I will start by showing you the cards. So on the cards, uh, we do have a border, but it's all black. So these are really dark, but I don't mind these cards being dark. I feel like the pictures still stand out and I like the writing, the, the color and the font. So the witch, the earthly weaver of the worlds.
I really like this trick or treat card. Mischief and play. I like how the cards play with the light and dark. And I really like the nod to the underworld to Pers Persephone. I can't say her name very well, but. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do a side-by-side -side between the Halloween Oracle and the Halloween Forever Oracle. If I could only buy one deck, the Halloween Oracle or the Halloween Forever, I would honestly choose the Halloween Oracle. I would choose this deck. Like I said, I like how it has a black border, but there seems to be more light in the cards. There's a good balance between light and dark. And like a good contrast, like this forgiveness with the white rose and all this color. And then the border around the black so this is orange this one's like a kind of a bronzy and then this one's gold the next card winter with the leaf is blue it changes and i just really feel like that gives some depth to these cards i also like this cardstock better it's not as thick it's more bendy it shuffles i like i usually like doing flip throughs of matte cards better because they show up better on the uh, monitor but for shuffling purposes i don't like matte cards i like a little bit of shine some gloss it makes shuffling especially when the cards are oracle size a little bit easier for me if they're matte and, and they're thick cardboard like the halloween forever thick and matte makes them very sticky and it makes it more difficult to shuffle I mean, I could be biased. I've had this deck for a while as well, and I use it every Halloween, every Halloween season. So I do, I have, I've had more time to bond with this deck. I will pull one card. We'll do the one that fell out. All right, so we got Skull of Light, Illumination. So we have a few different skulls. They have quite a few skulls. So we have Skeleton, Skull of Darkness, Skull of Flowers, Skull of Light, Skull of Stars, and then Spider. So it says, we can stay in the dark, exist only in the midnight hours, but shining the torch, the victory is ours. As the famous psychotherapist Jung suggested, knowing our own darkness helps us cope with the darkness of others, taking the time to know thyself and to seek understanding of our more destructive or shadow natures can lead to huge happiness 
and less anxiety. The idea of being shown the way in the most difficult of times and always knowing that we are never alone in the darkness are the keys to this magical element. Light is usually a comforting thing, yet sometimes we do not really want to see the boogeyman under the bed. It is too scary, too big, and we know not how to defeat it, yet by simply shining the torch upon such darkness, the victory is ours. Should the skull of light enter your life, know that it is time to open yourself fully to the clarity of bright illumination. Allow yourself to be seen, to see, and to act upon what is shown to you. The time has passed for hiding, for pretending, and for swallowing our discomfort by accepting the status quo when it really doesn't suit us. Oh, I didn't tell y'all how many pages. So with the other Oracle cards, like decks that they have, and about the other, it's 79 pages. So it's not a big book, but I like the writing in here. I like the keywords. I like the play of light versus dark. They're not as dark as the Halloween Forever. I feel like the Halloween Forever is just dark on dark and I like the cardstock of this better of this oracle deck better than the Halloween forever thank you for watching and I'll see y'all next time bye